Hello and welcome to the locker room. Coming up on the show, Samuel Umtiti's club future is uncertain. Will Barca battle to keep him or will Manchester United swoop? No. The future no. of the Italian <laughs> national no. team is also uncertain. But who's the right manager for the job? And Atleti and Barcelona have agreed on a pact over Antoine Griezmann. But what does the player want? Welcome into the show. Welcome back, Matteo Bonetti. Yeah. Yeah. My invite keeps getting lost in the mail. <laughs> that or Thomas is eating them. Thomas, what are you doing to my invites, man? I want to be on this show. Well, you're here today, so make the most of it. The Catalan press are reporting that Barcelona defender Samuel Umtiti is considering leaving the club over a disagreement about his wages. Now, the Frenchman is said to want figures that the club is not willing to pay. Sport newspaper claims that Umtiti thinks that he should be paid among the second tier salary level of the club, along with the likes of Andres Iniesta and Luis Suarez. Barca don't agree, but Manchester United are said to be willing hey. to pay what Umtiti wants. Now, at the very top of the show, you're shouting, Ray, no, no, he can't go. Why? I think he's perfect for Barcelona. You know, this wonderful young Frenchman has everything they want in a central defender. Uh, strength in the air, uh, wonderful quick feet. He doesn't overcommit. Um, he's got a little bit of the devil in him, which I like. Uh, it's, it's boiled over a few times lately as well. But um, everything about him, I mean, he cost a, a lot of money when it, he came from Lyon at 25 million, but he's lived up to it, to every day. And uh, I think he's been an absolutely there's, wonderful player. There's, there's three things about him that stand out right away. First off, the pace, right? Because mm. when you play the high line of Barcelona, you need a defender that can run back and prevent the counterattack really quickly. His confidence on the ball and his distribution, with the lack of world-class center backs that there are right now in Europe, mm. a player like Umtiti, that needs to be one that they seal up. You give him whatever you want. That is a player that's worth so much. It's the best center back it's that I think that. they have Thomas, in the, the way, future. The way he reads the game. I mean, all yeah. this athleticism but is one thing, uh, but reading the game for a young putting, man like him. No, so, he, you, so you do pay he, him the same as an Iniesta or a Luis Suarez? He's brilliant. Absolutely I don't nuts. Think he's Absolutely nuts. nuts. You have a salary policy. Barca that. I didn't know that at D.C. I went in and said, listen, sign Eddie Pope, save money for Mark Recheverry. And my president said, Thomas, no way. Marketing gets involved, all right? I hate to say it. He's a center back. He's not scoring goals. He's very good. There's no way he's going to make the same money as in yesterday. And if we do break that, it's a problem. Also, is he going to determine now by bringing I need my million? Are we going to now say, okay, no, fair enough. Here yeah. you go, Tutti. It would be a bad example for Barca to do that. And do pay him, but here's, not here's, that here's kind of money. If, if Barca are not going to pay him, I'm only too happy. <laughs> $60 million from TT and yeah. Man United have Eric Bailly, who's superb. But next yep. to him, we've tried Victor Lindelof, not work. Smalling, uh, Jones, we've tried Rojo, we've tried Damian. There's nobody there. And what's happening is that Matic is having to come deep to get the ball because we've got two non-playing centre-halves, one of which isn't quick. If we can get on TT al alongside Eric Bailly, both are super quick, both can come out and play. And for 60 minutes, we'll pay him whatever he wants well, at Barcelona. Nine million a year, they say that Mourinho is willing to pay Absolutely. nine million euros a year net. But I don't understand, TT. Thomas, why, because he's a centre-back, about the money thing. In Syria, the highest-paid player is a centre-back, Leonardo Bonucci. Yeah. Isn't he as important as anyone no. else in that? No. And yes, he's leaving Asia, no. so that's money no. right there that's freed no. up. I know you, he has you're a telling me he, he is Asia. as important or more important than Iniesta? Of course he's not. Okay, well, uh, there, there you go. Iniesta, no, don't say no. Of course he's not. Oh, of course he's season, not. Absolutely. Yeah. The problem is yeah. that not when you're you know, that kind of institution, the rest of the world is looking and going, oh, this guy wants $9 million. The bro's going to do the plane one against the S, and Barca goes, yeah, let me bend over. No chance. They should not do that as Good as so he is. Who do they get? I don't care who they get. They've got, they've got well, they Yerry they Mina. Care. They've got Yerry Mina. Yeah, they've got Yerry Mina. Who's a very good player? Yerry Mina's from Mailen. What's he doing? came in and played really well this season. Yeah, so but, I think we've got yeah, nice options. plays two they're, games they're, in a year, Gary. They're fair points, Gary, but I think Umtiti overshadows all of them. And I think Barcelona really need to make this a, a, a point of contention. Because I'm more agreeing with Matteo. The sporting um, director. Matteo. The sport than, than Thomas. <laughs> right. Excuse me, Tommy. Right. But um, because I, I understand what Thomas is saying on the business side and on the whole strata. But this is a man, for me, since he's came there, 
He's proven yes. to be mm -hmm. in that second strata. I think he needs but, but, to be rewarded. Know, Might what, United what be getting sucked say? in? Remember what happened with Sergio Ramos. Might he, they be using United of and course. Titi and his of brother course. to of course his they agents? It's, cl it's clever business, but they've got United there. United will pay, no question about that. And that's why I say to Barca, and I, disagree, I hear what you're saying, but if I'm Barca, I go, yeah, I might have to take him up alongside Suarez, but I have to do it, because if right. I don't do it, I lose him. It's and just playing business. Got to uh, pay I'm PK. I want the same money. You know what, Rakitic, you probably deserve it too. Uh, no yeah. way. If you're going to break the policy, you I, I, are doomed, I, I think. I think they'll break it, and I yeah. think I hope they do, because for me, this is the future of Barcelona's yeah. defence. In the same way as Piquet, when he came from Man United, that Man United yeah. connection is always there. <laughs> right. uh, yeah. But I think they, they found their man. And I don't find I don't hear anybody. I know I don't hear anybody arguing that Robert, he's not worthy. Robert Fernandez, their sporting director, who brought Untiti from Lyon, by the way, he could play a key role. He might be able to talk to the brother and say, you know what, let's let. He will stay there, but he's not going to get mm. what he says right now he wants. They meet in the middle somewhere. More, if he can get more from Man United, why would you stay? If he can get nine million at United and five. Because you don't, you don't, you don't win anything at Man United. Yeah. You're not going to win any trophies, Bailey. He wants to win the Money Champions talks. League. Right. <laughs> OK, Atletico Madrid have said to have a hands-off pact with Barcelona over Antoine Griezmann. Another Frenchman's future we're talking about now. Now, Atleti are doing all they can to keep their star player Barcelona have agreed that they will not approach him unless he puts in a transfer request. Yeah. What should Griezmann do? Should put in his transfer request. And I think that this pact that they've made with uh, Atletico in as much of a sportsman-like way that they can, I think Barcelona will probably actually end up paying a little bit more than the buyout contract just to make to settle the waves down. That's what uh, Guillaume Balaguer is reporting, and I think he's spot on. And, and also this whole thing about rotation, to me, is absolute nonsense. You're going to have games where he plays, you're going to have games where Suarez plays, but Suarez in his 30s now, sure. he's going to get weaned out slowly, sure. even though yeah. he's hit his high note but once again after a slow Griezmann start. At, at Atletico, he, his <laughs> best form comes out when he plays with that centre forward. There you go, Rock. he's not a nine. Right. So, you know, how much of that is he going to need a man up front? What do you think, Thomas? I, well, I mean, Matteo makes an interesting point. He might not start all the time. If I was Griezmann, i got to play 90 minutes every time. Griezmann is the second leading goal scorer in La Liga right now. He will not even get close to his numbers. So if I was Griezmann saying, you know what, I'm the boy over there. I take responsibilities. I score goals. I'm involved all the time there. He's going to be part of a rotation and system? Yet, That's what you said? He, no he chance. Might, he might, Suarez, might be rotation. He's going to play. It, it might, to play it might be rotation. No, I understand that. that. If I was Griezmann, I said, no, sorry, Gary. I'm going to go. say, if, 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 I'm, if I'm Griezmann, I'm looking at it going, I'm going to go to one of the biggest clubs in the world. I'm going to win trophies. I'm going to play with one of the greatest players of all time in Messi. I'm going to be alongside another great player in Suarez. I'm going, to have, I'm going to be watched by everyone in the world. Yes, I might not play every game, but I know Suarez is going to retire soon. I'm thinking, you've got to go. Why, why stay at Atleti? He's when not, you're not going to win He's, he's not a nine. He's not a nine. He can play somewhere. Yeah, yeah, somewhere. Gonna have, well, he's he's gonna Suarez. going to have a lot of problems. Uh, 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 not problems. Wonderful uh, solutions to whatever equation any team throws at him when if and when Griezmann arrives. I mean, you've got Iniesta, Dembele, yeah. Coutinho, You're all right, right. wonderful, yeah. attractive players going forward. This guy has got so, Barcelona stamped also, all over yeah, him. The, the point of him having to that. play off of a target man, he does need a target man mm -hmm. at Atleti where well, they play so deep. It. But, it, but he's always played with one way. Giroud, Aguirreche, uh, Diego Costa. Well, that's Diego the funny Costa. thing. Diego Costa said, he's had a little bit of a joke, and said he actually rang me and told me to come back to Atleti, and now yeah. he's going to leave me? <laughs> I know, I saw that. And, and one, a, one other <laughs> thing to that is Simeone has said he promises to bring four world-class players if Griezmann stays. So is that just a little bit of a carrot that says maybe, I mean, Atleti have done well this season. Pretty big carrot. They're coming second. Oh, well, gonna, what if, <laughs> I mean, if it's four world-class players, but, maybe but, you're And when you're a player and you know that maybe. club's going to do everything to try and keep you there and yeah, make, yeah, make you... you feel good and comfortable feel and you're good, settled keep you there already. Star. You got six. Who's going to have a show of hands, got, Thomas? Who's right. going to? Would you, you rather see Antoine Griezmann at Manchester United under Mourinho? Don't bring United in. Show of hands. Yeah. Show of yeah. hands. Back to the hands. It's Barca or Atleti. Do I think it's the right move for him? Is it the right move for him? You get six players for four positions. Yeah. Uh, I think it is. I don't, I'm going to want to rotate. Where do you want to see him? Where do you want to see him? Where do I want to see him? I want to. I want to One see my, word answer. Ajax. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Who is the right man to take charge of the Azzurri? We've also got our top goals from the past week. That includes international duty and Segunda B action. And Spain play Argentina on Tuesday, but who's got the best squad? And is this a preview of the World Cup quarterfinal? Stick around. Welcome back to the locker room. The word from Italy on Monday morning is that Roberto Mancini and Carlo Ancelotti are the front runners for the Italy job. No. But who's the best choice to lead this team forward after the shock of failing to reach the World Cup, Matteo? There's only one, and it's not those two. I want someone with that iron fist, oh, Antonio no. Conte, oh. who made Italy play my nation the best football that we've played in over a decade. Case in point, Euro 2016, what they did to Spain, what they did to Germany, taking them to 120 on penalties. He was the manager that found out how to play the best football against Spain, how to be creative with a team, by the way, that had Emanuele Giaccherini as a central midfielder. This team from the qualifier was a better team individually than what Conte had at Euro 2016. That is the best Italy I've seen and the weakest question, squad at the same time. Do, he had them it, overachieving for the first time. Does, yeah, it, but make, does it make any difference? I'm sorry. Does it make any difference which manager you have when you've got a, so. a defense that's right. falling Gary, apart absolutely. and you've got no hold strikers? Hold on a second. We just can't, just can't just either take a play God. manager that can rebuild. Yes, thank but you. He's thank the, you. Well, he had to. He had he's to after with Italy. Italy couldn't get out of the group stage for two consecutive World Cups. The 21 team went to the semis, the under 20s, uh, third place. Let me mention some names Conti, Palmieri, uh, Florenzi, uh, Romagnoli, Jorginho, uh, Locatelli, Chisa, Bellotti. You know what you need to do? You need to get a coach that builds according to their yeah. strength, right. not and not a guy like Conte that goes. 352 rigid. Mm. Yes, we get success. He stopped, he stopped yes, we get two towards the I, I, I know a younger cro coach that looks at this talent right now, play out of a 433, and let's go. You but get two all, years to three, work five, on it. But Conte used to bring on five two because he's got the best center backs in, in Europe. These guys are and all worked. Oh, yeah, yeah, Conte, Conte, Conte looks at this squad. Good that you, that, that you, you've just reeled off there, Thomas. Um, Who's to say it? he's not going to look at that and say, yeah, I can work with this. I can make Italy great again. I think he's got it in him, technically. You think so? I, I, and tactically it's, in every way. Is it a good enough team? I also think well, There's some <laughs> talent there, oh, Gary. Well, I don't know if it's... it's so starting I mean, I'm from just in goal. Yeah. I mean, the, the goalkeeper's in Italy. I mean, a, all of these guys are starting... Or are these guys are starting right now for their respective team in Serie A. They're 20, 21, 22, 23. I missed a few of them as well. The list is longer. I don't see one world-class player on that entire exactly. team. And I agree with you world class player. He's world class oh, at Napoli. In senior, when he gets to the Italian yeah, national team, he becomes on. nothing more I than mediocre. No, I, 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 I agree with you. I think either of these... Verratti also takes it down a notch. Always takes it down a notch. Either of these managers take over and do this, they're going to ruin their reputation because I don't think you can be successful. Maybe that's what Conte's had a look at. He's had a look at us and gone, I've got no chance of being successful. Conte gets them to run more than anyone else. He gets them in the best shape. He... He got, yeah, listen, I, I'm only going by what I saw in the past results. Yeah. Euro 2016, I, that was the best Italy I've seen in a very long time since they won the World Cup. It wasn't a great Absolutely. Italy. I, it I was got back to race. Really more I'm impressive. going back to race point. It was That's a really point. It wasn't side. a great Italy, and he was it's, still able to do that but with what, the But then why Conte? take them? If the best you can do is get them to be okay. There's no there's no more Vieri's and Inzaghi's and Roberto Baggio's. But we're asking about which coach is the best coach to lead them forward, not what the talent pool is. Youth... Okay, I disagree with that wholeheartedly. I I mean, you, no, that I, there's nothing to disagree with. I'm <laughs> saying we're asking what the, who the best coach to lead no, no, them forward say, is. You said it's not about the talent pool? Well, it, no, it, well, I'm asking you who's the, the best pool. coach to lead this Italian well, side it's not, it's, it's not any those guys that are older than me. It's somebody as young that can relate to them. I, it might be crazy right here. Who's the coach right now of AC Milan? Gattuso. Talk to me. Gattuso. Gattuso. Somebody oh, like Catuso no. that knows the X and O's as well. Hey, that can put his arm around Sarri a young Joe. player Sa and go, <laughs> come on, Sarri. Sarri would be better. Sarri. Old. Yeah. He's in his 50s and he'll play the most incredible. I, I don't want, I want Conte. That's the only manager Sarri, I want. Okay. With rebuilding. You're right, Rock. Good uh, luck. Whoever takes guys. over, good luck. Okay, we will revisit this one. <laughs> now, two of the favourites <laughs> to win the World Cup this summer meet in a friendly on Tuesday night in Madrid, Spain and Argentina. In fact, if things go to plan for the two sides this summer, then they'd cross paths in the quarterfinals mm. of Russia 2018. Yeah. Who's got the best squad? 
I think Spain by far. But I've been thinking Not about that, 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 that quarterfinal clash and how it's going to go down. But every player who plays for Spain plays for Real Madrid, Barcelona, Man United, Bayern Munich. They're the top players in every position. When I look at Argentina, Romero, the keeper, is a substitute for Man United. A good keeper, but substitute. So is Rojo. Uh, Cunha is a sporting Lisbon. It's a good side. Uh, Tagliafica is at Ajax. Paredes is at Zenit. And I'm thinking, can a team of players that aren't at the same level Here, go on and who, beat Spain? I think Argentina could lose to Spain in the quarterfinals. They're just not, 2014, as a package, not good enough What was the Argentina. final 2014 to World Cup? Argentina were there. Good. Yeah. So, um, that was 2014, uh, but Copa, not uh, Copa uh, America. Two finals. When was yep. the last one? Didn't win either of them. There's 20. You're telling me there's 20 new Spain. players now? There's no, not but this the same is Spain. This is this not, this is no, not I'm talking about America. Argentina. Yeah. I'm talking about Argentina. Yeah. What are you, you're telling me South America yeah. is not a good. Hey, get out of here. Come, come on. on. We're going up Brazil, the level Argentina, now. Chile. Now they've got Spain and Germany. I'm saying I think Spain is Spain better than Spain plays Argentina. Finland and, I, and, I, um, okay. and Iceland. I'm just saying. I think the players are better than But there is a point there, though, that the Argentina side, the front four, is a whole lot better than my biggest problem right now, the two holding midfield. You have Benega playing out of position. You have Lucas Bigla that to me is the don't biggest mystery his name. in football. <laughs> okay. I don't understand how he starts at Milan and Argentina. Los this is Celso the biggest will, will, will mystery in problem. world Los football. Los Celso will, will solve that problem for them. I don't think he's going to play. I think he's going to play a little bit further forward, which is what he did against Italy. The whole Dybala Cardi situation is very weird, although it seems like they've reopened the case for Dybala. And Cardi's never going to see Argentina. If I take one, 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 one coach there. in a short-term tournament, I'll take Sao Paulo. The energy, they, they're going to fight. And you know what? They have the best player in the world, as everybody said, including me. They will win it. But he can't, yeah, but he can't do what he did with Argentina. Spain is a dream matchup for you. Spain, you love Spain. He loves the right. players Absolutely, well. the both of them. I, there's, I think there's very little between them, but I think uh, in, in, in the whole entity of the actual talent in the squad, I, I think Spain is... There a you go. Messi, go. Messi right. changes I everything, agree. though. Yep, Spain don't have Messi. All right, time for the round table predictions. It's a bit of a mean one as well but I'd just like to say it was Gary Bailey's idea <laughs> which World Cup coaches it's, will go yeah, to Russia weird. with a job and leave without one basically which national team coaches will get the sack because of this summer's showdown Gary you said, by I, the way, I am everybody. going I am going Sampali for the very reason I've said now they meet Spain in the quarters two great sides and I wish Messi would win the World Cup but I think Spain are going to be Give me your first strong. answer. Your first answer was what? Everybody except the winner? Thomas? Yeah, because yeah, everybody, yeah. And everybody went, gets fired. And Kay went to me, pick one to you. I go, he picked like 30, 60. Everybody gets fired. I agree. Belgium, Martinez. please, Belgium, do so. Not reaching the semifinals, Roberto, what is, what's your boy's name? Because you're going for him as I'm well. I'm going with the same thing, Roberto Martinez. Two smart Absolutely. minds here, well done. Absolutely. 3-3 three, three draw against Mexico. Already some doubts about this Belgian team. Are they going to underachieve yet again? I think so. Sadly for me, it'll be Peckerman uh, of Colombia, who's done fabulous with them. But at 68, I think after this World Cup, he'll be gone. Yeah. Okay. And, and here's the stat. I think five of the, of the 32 coaches still have their job from 2014. So the bottom line is they're all virtually going to get sacked. Except Production the winner, have made their own pick. Yep. And what they, they have pick? gone with oh. Didier Deschamps. Yeah, for France. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. nearly went for him, Thomas. I went either Why? or. I, I had both. Because Bailey went for 10, I went for two. So, <laughs> no. France is in a mess right now. Because yeah, it's, it's not fair for him. There's so much talent on this yeah. team. Yeah. But it ain't coming together. He has to win it, doesn't he? Yeah, basically, like, he has to win correct. it. Correct. Semis or finals. So, so yeah. the champs, yeah, yeah, that's a tough job. So, <laughs> but, but you still decided Martinez, Martinez in the end. Correct. You, you weren't brave enough to go for Didier Deschamps. <laughs> that's why we had to let the production team go for this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just would you like to elaborate? Because you, I think you thought we had less time than we did yeah. on Martinez. Oh, Marta, absolutely. 3-3 three, three draw between Belgium and Mexico. He hasn't been able to get that defense organized at all in the last two years. He's been there for two years. Yeah. So much individual talent. But like Croatia, that individual talent doesn't translate into chemistry, into playing mm -hmm. the football yeah. that we think, because we put them in a video game together. One of the best players. The same right. De Brown right. need to pick right. everybody on their right. Right. Top goals yeah. and something some very right. special when we come back here on the locker room. Stick around. The first division football has stopped. It does not mean the goals have stopped coming here on B in Sports. Here are the best from the weekend. These are our top goals. And it starts with you, Gary Bailey. Look at the strike, Arturo Vidal. Such a pity we're not going to see him in the World Cup final. Or Alexis Sanchez. Look at the strike. Doesn't even wait for it to settle down. Bangs that straight into the top corner. Absolutely brilliant.
Well, straight after this happened, this happened, Ray Hudson, yes. Ola Toivonen. Toivonen's goal. Look at this. So it's all one touch passing Thomas Rungan, and one touch passing is perfection. Sweden absolutely embroider this together. Look at the movement, the one touch passing, and then this wonderful finish, finish by Toivonen. Outstanding. How do you like them Swedish meatballs? I like that. Ola, Ola Toivonen. <laughs> Thomas Rungan has got Mena for Sevilla Dos. Hello, Sevilla Dos. Game. Okay, Golasso, shoelaces, far post, thanks for coming. This teammate's going, give me the ball. He goes, no, I'm going to rival this. Mateo, Ibanez for Osasuna. Yeah, Ibanez, you guys know that I'm a massive uh, Segunda División enthusiast. I love that <laughs> ball over the top, little touch into the six-yard box, and just like that, Osasuna, magic ray. Yep. Mine was actually a game that you were on the call for, Matteo. Lanzini with his first ever goal for Argentina. Iguain with options either side of him, but Lanzini sets himself up and blasted home. We absolutely love that. They are your top goals of the week. We have a very special What I Love today, dedicated to an actress who's not only a big soccer fan, but a big Ray Hudson fan too. Hey. Julie Benz of <laughs> Buffy the Vampire and Dexter fame posted this video on her Instagram of Ray Hudson calling a messy goal during El Clasico. Her caption, I wish this announcer could narrate my life. Well, it turns out hey. we're big Julie Benz fans here on the locker room. So Julie, your wish is our command. Here is Come Ray right. Hudson hey. to narrate your life. <laughs> All right. Julie Benz, one of the most magisterial stars in the glittering universe that is Hollywood. From Sunnydale to Miami to Hawaii, no matter the location, no matter the show, you light up the screen, whether alive or undead. You. You were told as a teenager you could never make it in the business. You shove that advice where the sun don't shine. <laughs> you are the Messi and Ronaldo of American television. And you have the embrace of the beautiful game has been magic. You've loved our football. And with the wonderful LAFC, you have one of the most sparkling teams in MLS. We at Being Sports, Julie, will always be in awe of you. We are the Dexter to your Rita. The angel to your dollar. And I, Ray Hudson, will always be your dear boy. Julie, you and Rich are welcome at Be In Sports anytime. Magisterial Monday continues with Monday Night Soccer. Stick around after the locker room to see George and Gary give you extended highlights of the weekend's games and analysis of the key moments too. Football Crazy Podcast, a fun look back at the weekend's games every Monday during the league season. Hosted by Kev Egan and me, you can download it on iTunes, SoundCloud, Acast and Stitcher. And we'll see you next time on The Locker Room.